This is part 43 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to prevent browser default actions. First, let's look at some of the browser default actions. For example, when you click on a link, the browser navigates to the page specified in the link, and when you right click on a web page, the browser displays the context menu. In some situations, you may want to disable or prevent these browser default actions. For example, some of the websites disable right click and the reason they say they have disabled right click is for security because they don't want end users to right click and copy their content. But are you achieving anything by disabling right click? Not really because if the end user disables JavaScript support in the browser, they will still be able to right click and copy your content. So you're not really achieving anything by disabling right click. You're just annoying users. So don't disable right click in the browser. Having said that, let's see how to prevent these browser default actions. There are actually two ways we can do that. The easiest way is by simply returning false when that event occurs. And here is an example. When we right click and when the context menu is about to be displayed, this event is raised on context menu. And notice that we are simply returning false. So this is going to prevent that context menu from appearing. Let's look at this in action. So here we have the body section and within that we have this H1 element. So at the moment, I am able to right click. So when we select this text and right click on that, I will be able to copy it. Now let's see how to disable this context menu from appearing when we right click. So on the body element, on context menu, return false. So let's save the changes, reload the page and look at this. When I right click, nothing happens. Another way to prevent the browser default action is by using the event object. Let's look at that example now. So instead of using this on context menu attribute, let's write a JavaScript function and let's name this prevent default action. And to this method, let's pass the event object. Event object equals event object or window dot event. So this or condition is for IE8 and earlier versions. If event dot prevent default. So there's a method called prevent default. And this method is supported only in IE9 and later versions and all the other modern browsers. IE8 and earlier versions doesn't support this prevent default method. So for IE8 and earlier versions, we're going to use return value property of the event object. And we are going to set that property to false. And for IE9 and later versions and all the other modern browsers, we are going to use prevent default function. And we are going to call this function when context menu event occurs. So document dot on context menu. We want to call this function. All right, so with these changes, let's reload the page and now let's right click notice that nothing happens let's look at another example now let's see how to prevent link navigation when we click on a hyperlink so instead of this h1 tag let's use an anchor tag and set href to prajimtech.com Right. Now let's reload the page. So we have this hyperlink now. When we click on this hyperlink by default, it goes to prajimtech.com uh, page. Now we want to prevent that default action. Right. So here we already have a function which is going to prevent the default action. So all I'm going to do is 
on click I'm going to call this method prevent default action so now let's reload this page first of all notice that I am not able to right click that's because of this line of code and when I click on the link it doesn't go anywhere and that's because we're calling that function on click of that event alright now you can use the event object as we have done so in this method or on click of the hyperlink simply return false let's reload the page notice that when I click on the hyperlink nothing happens thank you for listening and have a great day